This is Facebook's founder and CEO Mark Zuckerberg on stage during the annual Facebook F8 Developers Conference in San Jose, California. And while this might look like a regular gray t-shirt, it actually costs somewhere between 400 and 600 US dollars. Since the beginning of time, people have sought various ways to distinguish themselves from others around them. For example, in the Middle Ages, sumptuary laws specified in minute detail what each social class was permitted and forbidden to wear, including the maximum price an article of clothing could cost. Grooms could not wear cloth that exceeds two marks and knights could wear apparel up to six marks value but were forbidden from wearing gold, ermine or jeweled embroidery. The rationale was to reserve particular fabrics and ornaments for certain social hierarchy. Fast forward to today and anyone can own a purse, a watch or a pair of shoes, but specific brands of purses, watches and shoes are distinguishing feature for certain classes of consumers. Ultra-rich people usually look out for exclusive brands that are not easily available in their nearby shopping mall or some high street store. They are sold in exclusive stores which are very few in number. So if you're looking at the top 1% of rich people and wondering what they wear, well, throw that out the window. These brands are for the top 0.01%. Although unobtainable for some, these brands are worn all over the world by the extremely wealthy people. These are all ultra-luxury brands that are normally worn by billionaires. Forget Gucci, Versace, and others, these are masters of tailoring clothes. Almost all the products made by these stylists for the filthy rich are handmade in Italy. Gucci, Versace, etc. are not old money brands, they are new money brands. The real gentlemen of the world don't wear brands like this. So, let's get started with our list. First up on our list is, Brunello Cuccinelli. Decades after loaning $550 to launch a fashion line in 1978, Italian designer Brunello Cuccinelli turned a fledgling dream into a $3 billion empire, earning him the title of the King of Kashmir. Now, he dresses the upper echelon of Silicon Valley, like Amazon's Jeff Bezos and Instagram's Kevin Systrom, with the designer's line of spiffy and well-made cashmere sweaters. Even Facebook magnate Mark Zuckerberg, who infamously only wears grey t-shirts, have his tees reportedly custom-made by the Italian luxury designer which costs somewhere between 400 and 600 US dollars. Hollywood A-listers like Ben Affleck has also been spotted as regular Brunello patrons. However, unlike other luxury labels, the brand doesn't use celebs for ads, preferring to keep their relationships on the subtler side. Stefano Ricci with a clientele of self-made billionaires, world leaders, and notable figures like Nelson Mandela and Andrea Bocelli, the Italian menswear label Stefano Ricci offers a line of exotic hides, silk blend evening suits, and other luxurious creations. Still, despite the big names that wear its pieces, the brand prefers to promote its pieces by cultivating relationships with older clients who are willing to splurge. Stefano's eldest son and the company's CEO Nicola Ricci said in an interview, We don't do Showtime 24-7. We stay out of the media circus of the fashion show. Cesare Attalini Dubbed one of the great master tailors of the soft-shouldered suit, Italian designer Cesare Attalini took on the vision of his suit maker father to craft the perfect Neapolitan jacket. A Neapolitan jacket is characterized by specific construction details. The design includes an extended dart that runs to the bottom seam of the skirt. With each suit created by hand during a whole-day process, the atelier has become a favorite of Tinseltown's most distinguished men. From Clark Gable and Al Pacino, to the more recent Denzel Washington, today Cesare Attalini is run by the two sons of Cesare, Massimiliano, and Giuseppe Attalini. They have implemented the system invented by their father, also known as the Neapolitan system. Lauro Piana Founded in 1924 and known as the largest cashmere manufacturer, the Italian brand Loro Piana is synonymous with the quiet chic side of fashion. While the brand was acquired by LVMH Moet Hennessy Louis Vuitton in 2013, the luxury house still keeps to its adage of extraordinary fabrics and understated elegance, with intricately made woolen creations worn by politicians and stars like Bill Clinton and David Beckham. Loro Piana is a symbol of Italian excellence. The label's relentless quest for quality has lasted for six generations and resulted in the most sumptuous fabrics, sourced and nurtured from the very beginning and prized for their sense of touch. Advocates for elegant, understated style, its clothes transcend seasonal trends in favor of function and unparalleled comfort. Kit on. Neapolitan tailoring takes a special place in the closets of the 1%, with kit on being another staple. Dating back to 1956 with textile merchant Ciro Paone, at its helm, the Italian house prides its meticulous craftsmanship with suits made the traditional way. Here, each thread matters, so much so that they even established their own tailoring school. And like the other brands on the list, the Kiton name isn't brandished on red carpets, but notable names like George Clooney definitely have it on their radar. 
As it redefines elegance, Kiton reworks classic menswear, blurring the lines between formal and casual. 100% made in Italy, tailoring and excellence is expressed though understatement, with essential becoming the catchword. All that is superfluous disappears, resulting in garments that are practically weightless, but always impeccable. The jacket unwaveringly in luxurious fabric, are perfect in their construction, but even softer for effortless sophistication. The dress code of the contemporary man is renewed in the search for the perfect balance between a business casual outfit and a sporty chic outfit. Leisure wear made of sumptuous knits and sportswear with a sartorial soul now play a central role in the stylistic selection. Brioni Brioni is a luxury Italian fashion brand that was founded in Rome in 1945 by Nazarino Fonticli and Gaetano Savini. The brand is known for its high-quality men's clothing, particularly its bespoke and made-to-measure suits, which are handmade using the finest materials and traditional tailoring techniques. Brioni's signature looks include classic and sophisticated designs, such as the Quattro Stagioni suit and the Traveler jacket, as well as more modern and contemporary styles that reflect the brand's commitment to innovation and creativity. With a celebrity following that includes the likes of Pierce Brosnan, Tom Hiddleston, and Daniel Craig who wore Brioni suits in his James Bond films, Brioni has become synonymous with luxury men's fashion that combines timeless elegance with modern sophistication. A preference of former US President Barack Obama and several James Bond iterations, menswear label Brioni has crafted bespoke suits since 1945, and is now a go-to for the most dapper styles with handmade offerings that each take 220 processing steps to create. The brand was acquired by Kering, the company behind Gucci, Saint Laurent, and more, in 2011, but its ways of production still remain largely the same. And this is the end of our list of top brands worn by billionaires. Thank you for watching the video and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. See you next time.